ideal? No. Is sincerity an impossibility? No. Is honesty a hard thing to attain? No. So how do we marry the two? How do we bring them together until they kiss each other? It's the process of transformation with a methodology that lets the people who are yet to be honest, yet to be sincere, yet to be patriotic, see the benefits of patriotism versus lack of patriotism, the benefits of sincerity as opposed to insincerity, the benefits of honesty to dishonesty, and the cumulative joy for everybody, the win-win situation. It goes back to wiring. And I'm sure that from when those things were written there to now, I am pretty confident that at least we can say maybe one person has caught it. Two people have caught it. I'm sure it's more than one, it's more than two. Some people already had their sense of sincerity, patriotism, and honesty before that was written. It only served to strengthen their resolve that this is how it ought to be. What is it about a nation? I, I, I ask this question a lot of, when, when I have a social time with my friends, I like to ask this question. And here goes the question. If you were in the restroom, in a public place, um, let's say an airport, and um, you were using the restroom, the toilet, and there was a brown bag somewhere, and out of curiosity, you opened it, and there was 20,000 US dollars there. Would you take that brown bag and give it to the airport police, give it to the security, or would you keep it? What if, what if it was a diamond? And, they, you know, obviously when you ask a question like that, you open up a discussion. Because I've heard people who say, yes, on my word, I will take it because it's not my money. And maybe the person who forgot it there is looking for it. And then there's people who have also said, I will not take it because when you take it to that airport security, you won't see it again. Or when it comes up, the amount will be shorter than 20000 Both answers are based on wirings. Somebody has either had that experience or somebody is just too suspicious of people in authority, security services, and people who you expect to do right who do not do right. And it's the same. And so yet that reality also happens in other nations. I said a couple of weeks ago, if we remember, and again I say this not with any... Um, lack of respect, but when there was the hurricane and the tsunami, the thing that happened in Haiti, it was so bad that the whole world almost came to the assistance of Haiti. The, the tarmac and the runway on Haiti was full of planes, and there was all kinds of things on the tarmac to help Haiti. Yet the people there were looting. They were also looting in the midst of a national tragedy. Almost a year and a half ago, a similar thing happened in Japan. Terrible. Cars, ships, houses, people were swept away like pieces of paper. Yet nobody policed the Japanese. Things were not stolen. The UN didn't have to send peacekeepers. They didn't have to do anything. As a matter of fact, the last I remember was some of the debris had washed ashore to some other countries and messages were sent that they should please make sure that they handle these things that they find um, with, with respect because it may be the only memorabilia loved ones have of their lost ones. Same situation, same amount of tragedy, national catastrophic effect on nations one nation, nobody loots. Another nation, everybody is looting. Transformation is a function of wiring. So we must get into some kind of sociological understanding. We must get into some kind of demographical understanding, some amount of anthropology to find out why people are like that. Sometimes it's easy to say, this school is a low-performing school. I remember when I was in primary school, we had the grading system. So you are in primary 5A, and somebody is in primary 5B. That in itself was bad, because anybody who was in B, or even some schools had primary 5D. So that's like no motivation. But ladies and gentlemen, it's strange to know that there are people who are in 5D 
who are ruling the world today. There are people who are in 5C who are leaders. It has been statistically proven, and this will excite you and challenge you. It has been statistically proven that the world is run by the C students, and the C students employ the A students to work for them, and it is said that the B students work for the government globally. Now, before I told you this, if I asked you, are you an A, B, or C student, most people will put their hand up, I'm an A student. But it's been found out that most of the people that run the shows today were C students in school. Their lecturers told them they were no good. Some of them are multi-billionaires, own airlines, own um, computer companies, and the like. So the world is run by the C students, and because of their wealth, they employ the A students for their brain and pay them. And the B students just work till they are 55, 60 and retire with a pension and a clock and a handshake. If you and I want to bring about a transformation, a badly needed transformation for ourselves, for our communities, for our nations, we must understand the wiring of the people and we must show them a preferred future. I have lived in countries where they had overhead walkway bridges, flyovers, and they had these things to help pedestrians, and yet the pedestrians thought it was faster to run across the highway and jump. Because maybe the pedestrians thought that was a faster way, method, or maybe really all good and well-meaning, the people who installed those things never took time to educate the people for whom it was put there. So they became monuments in our nations. Transformation is a desire we all want. I want to be transformed because there's always a higher challenge. There is always a better way. There's always a more efficient way. There's always a more excellent and more appreciative way of doing things, of having things, of carrying yourself, your appearance, your gait, and all that. But if you force me into it, chances are you will not get anything from me. I will resist it. But if you bring me line upon line, as the Bible will say, precept upon precept, to the benefits of this transformation, to the holistic good and cumulative good for everybody, to the fact that it can also be a legacy and it can even be a, a pointer as an example for other people, I will come on board. I will participate. One of the greatest things you can ever find is in sports, especially like in soccer or baseball or basketball or some of these things when you find a team is losing and the coach comes and talks to them and fires them up and challenges them and empowers them and lifts up their dream for this cup and the, the, the joy they would be to the state, the fact that they will be heroes, their names will be etched on the sands of times and they, they go back into that pitch, into that field and history is made against all odds because a sense of ownership was given to them for transformation to happen. How do we go about in a step-by-step -step way doing this transformation? I'll start on this and I'll finish next week. Number one, truth is that you are not going to bring any transformation in my life if you are not passionate about what you are telling me. If you come and tell me you are a dull boy, you don't pass your exams, you are a bad worker, you don't do anything, you spend all your time on the internet, you are looking at my space, what, you will fail, nothing will come out of you, you are a blockhead. I'll just say, amen, and just live like that and tell you, well, I'm like that, leave me like that. You that's great, you that's fantastic, go do your thing. But if I remain like that, I will affect your life. But if you come with passion, with creativity and say, wow, look, you can do better. We can do it together. I can go this far with you. We can change. And when we change, this would happen. You cannot bring about transformation in people's lives without having passion. There must be passion, zeal, excitement, or like somebody will say, fire. You must have fire. So number one, there's going to be passion. 
in our life. It's